Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLbox. This is the second video for the series of polars and here we'll be talking about drop, drop and nulls. So in the previous video we get started with why we need to use polars over pandas and what are the reasons and when you should not be using polars. So in this video we'll talk about specific module or especially in terms of null value and how to drop columns in polars. Okay, so with that what I'll do is uh, just import the package first and then we take our data set which is titanic.csv and then we look at the head of the particular data set. So here we have around uh, 12 columns Okay, and majority it is combination of string, float and integers and uh, so it has categories and it has uh, purely unique strings and then we have floating point values so we have all kind of data type mostly so let's first understand how to get the null count of our particular data set so data dot so null count there is null count here so there is around 177 null values present in age column and there is 687 column, uh, values in missing in cabin and 2 in embarked now what we can do is since uh, cabin has majority of the columns or values missing and we, since we also know okay, let's understand what is the number, total number of rows and what total number of columns right so data dot um, shape will give us the total number of rows that is 6, 8, 91 is the total number of rows and 12 is the column so cabin has around if you consider right it is around 70 to 80 percentage of the records are missing so what we'll do is we'll drop the column cabin so what we'll do is it is kind of unnecessary for us so let's put it uh, data dot drop and then just pass the cabin and uh, let's see yeah so cabin is gone now let me see the data dot head again but we see cabin is still present so what we'll do is so it has been removed in this particular instance but it is still there in the data frame so what we have to do is we have to drop a in place for a particular column to completely remove from the data frame so data dot uh, drop mm, okay, drop in place for a specific column which is cabin in this case okay. and it has been dropped let me go back and check right data dot head again so we don't longer seeing it right we are no longer uh, no longer seeing the cabin column in the particular data set okay it has been removed so now what we'll do is uh, let me again do a data dot drop or drop or just a head let's see so we have all this uh, columns present and we have different data types corresponding to each column so what we'll do is we'll drop a column based on the column d type okay so for instance d type is nothing but the data type integer string float okay let me drop first the float thing right what i'll do is data dot drop first then i have to select that we have to use selector is one of the model provided with polars okay selectors dot i want to select based on float so float values if i want to drop okay let me just type it here float so this will drop some columns okay probably age okay probably the age thing it will drop and fair as well so let, let's check right what it will drop so it has dropped all the columns which has floating data type age is dropped and fair is dropped okay so we have uh, all the other columns present now uh, this particular thing right how to create an empty row with null value so consider you have uh, all these columns present and you want to create a row which contains only null values okay so further what you have to do is dot clear number of rows you want to create with empty null uh, empty values right number of rows if i want to create two i can create two it will create two rows all containing null values this is one of the functionality provided by Polus. Now what we can do is we can check if our data frame is empty or not. 
okay that is quite simple to do so you can just do dot data dot is empty okay so this will give us whether that is empty or not so it is containing values so it is not empty okay so drop a specific column which contains null values okay so for this data dot drop nulls a specific so we have seen embarked and then we have seen uh, age and then we have seen what are the other columns which were containing null value right cabin was there so we already dropped cabin so we can drop null uh, based on embarked embarked can be dropped because it contains the null value so this will drop okay so if you see here so embarked is there and there are like we have seen like there are two values uh, that are missing okay in embarked now what we'll do is if you see here total number of rows were 891 and since we are dropping the null values present in embarked we got 899 value 889 okay so the two rows which were the embarked value was null are dropped now what we'll do is uh, drop column containing null using d type okay the same thing what we have done with drop we'll do with the drop nulls okay so again data dot drop nulls okay and the selector we have to do what we'll do is selector we'll use string this time instead of float or anything so okay i am specifying it you should use float so let me just put it as float then float so if here you have float as age and then fair okay so let me just drop so age contains around 177 values which are missing in age and uh, uh, fair i'm not sure if there is any missing value present in fair because if you go and see here fair has no missing value age has around 177 missing values so it should remove 177 rows okay based on this understanding okay so let's see right it is coming up to 7, 8, 714 okay so it has dropped all the floating point values that are present in uh, age which were null okay so it has removed all those and we are coming around 714 records now let's put um, data dot drop null and now we will drop uh, row uh, rows okay whose columns value is string and containing null okay so we have to select the selectors dot string and then let's do a drop so i'm not sure in string we have only embarked is present okay so it will drop two rows from uh, the data frame so let me hit this and here yeah. So it has removed two and we are getting 89. So this is with respect to nulls and drops and uh, some basic simple uh, functionalities we see it is empty clear. Okay. So this is with respect to the second lesson of polars. In the next lesson, we'll talk about group by operations and how you can also uh, perform group by on large data sets. Okay. So with that, I'll be concluding this video. Thank you so much.